Doomsday headlines abound. Massive melting event strikes Greenland after record heat wave. The rapid melting was caused by an atmospheric event above the ice sheet. Now, what they're trying to say here is that it was hot and the ice melted in summer. Rapid ice melt in Greenland has scientists concerned. Enough ice melted in the summer last week to flood the entire state of Florida. Oh my goodness, this must be bad. Greenland's mass ice melting event is the latest worrisome sign of the climate crisis. Well, it in fact is a worrisome sign, but it's a worrisome sign of the climate crisis propaganda that's being funneled directly into your face, into your ears and your eyes on a daily basis. Now, according to all these headlines, which started with live science, Greenland is in fact melting and it is very dangerous. In recent days, Greenland's massive ice sheet has been melting at twice its average summer rate. Oh my God, it must be your fault. That's twice the summer rate. Shedding enough water to cover the entire state of Florida with five inches of water. Oh my goodness. And then they go on and on and on to say very little, except that scientists are concerned and that we're all burning up. But the facts couldn't be further from the truth. And if we go over to the source where they got their data, what they didn't tell you is the rest of the data. They didn't tell you about 2019. They didn't tell you about 2018, 2017, or, or what's been happening in the past. What they did say is that a single day of melting, or a few days here, is leading scientists to be very concerned. Scientists weren't concerned when 12 gigatons of ice were building at the end of May. A record spike, the, the, record, the highest ice gain ever at the end of May. They didn't tell you about that. They didn't tell you about the record ice gain all summer from mid-June to mid-July, never recorded on Iceland. They didn't tell you about the, the record ice gain this summer when it should have been melting down here by this line. They only talked about this week when the Greenland melt went down below the 40-year average. And in fact, it barely got below there just for one day. One day it was below the 40-year average. That's it. Since then, look, boom, it's recovered way above the 40-year baseline, and it doesn't look like almost any ice is going to melt off Greenland this year. Now, let's just walk you through the years, and you tell me how scary this is. One of the lowest recorded ice mass balance years was 2011-2012, which was the peak of uh, solar maximum and global warming, essentially. That happened on Greenland 2011-2012. And you can see that's the red line. The gray line is the 40-year average going back to 1981. And back in 2016-17 on Greenland, we had a massive ice gain year. One of the biggest ice gaining years ever in history in 2016 and 17. That wasn't in the paper. 2017 and 18, above the 40-degree average for the entire year. And during the melt season, it was one of the least melt seasons in Greenland in history. In 40 years. They didn't tell you that in the article. 2019-2020. While the blue line is below the 40-year average, it is absolutely average. And last year is just like the last 40 years in Greenland, which goes way back before fake global warming. And here we are today with a single day below the 40-year average headlines across the blogosphere, across all media outlets, telling us how concerned scientists are. Well, no scientists are concerned, only the ones paid to be concerned. Anyone that has critical thinking, that's logical, that just looked at the entire five-year data set I showed you, which is overlaying on the 40-year data set, should tell you otherwise, and should tell anyone that thinks that a single day above the 40-year average equals a catastrophic event is either an idiot or blind to the science. And we'll bring you down here to the 2021 average where you can see that this year is completely identical to the last 40 years except now during melt season where Greenland is actually above the 40-year average gaining ice and melting less ice than it has on average 
over the last 40 years. Those are the facts. In your face. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where, well, the media does not check its sources, does not care about facts, does not care about data. All they care about is scaring you, lying to you, well, and pushing their propaganda. Period. Share this video with like-minded people and click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Any, any.